Bonjour, bonjour, hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cyril, I have been a stem cell researcher for quite some time and this is why I can tell you about the science behind skincare. And for today's video, I want to do a video dedicated for those of us who has facial hair, like myself, have um, a beard. And one of the biggest problems when you have a beard is with sunscreens because a lot of sunscreen tends to cling on the facial hair and therefore you basically look like uh, Santa Claus and they are also a nightmare to blend into the special hair. So before I show you my sunscreen that are completely safe for the beard, I just want to tell you that all of them have a basically no white cast or a very minimal one. So if you're also looking for a sunscreen with no white cast, this is also the videos uh, for you. So what are the ingredients that are going to clean on your facial hair and gives you like this uh, super strong white cast, especially on the, on the facial hair? It's first of all the mineral UV filters that are often referred as uh, physical filters. So it's uh, zinc oxide and also titanium uh, dioxide. And those filters also filter a little bit of visible light and this is why they appear on the skin uh, white. Another sunscreen is an organic one that is often referred as chemical sunscreen. This is a wrong assumption. Mineral and organic filters are both uh, chemical uh, UV filters, so it is a nonsense to call them um, chemicals. Anyway, in organic UV filters, this is the tinozol M that is dispersed into a matrix, so it behaves very similarly to the mineral uh, UV filters and it also absorbs some of the uh, visible light and this is why it gives a white cast. Not all base uh, tinozol M uh, sunscreen will give you uh, a very strong white cast, you can definitely work, but if you have a very dark uh, facial hair, most likely it will be um, a problem. I do recommend to use a tinozol M base sunscreen, especially if you are suffering from a lot of uh, hyperpigmentation. Anyway, so the first class of sunscreen that I'm going to show you are, I would say, the most elegant way for day-to-day -day, uh, wear, and also when you know that you are not be exposed to a lot of sun, or you have a very dark skin, and in that case, you can definitely only uh, use this type of uh, sunscreen. So the first two are Korean. The first one is this one from Claris. This is the Soft Airy UV Essence, SPF 50 plus, peer rating of four pluses. And the second one is the one also from the Korean brand, from a Korean brand, this is from Prurito. This is the Santella Green Level and Scented Sun, also SPF 50 plus and peer rating of four pluses. So those two in terms of, I would say, elegance are simply magnificent and they absolutely don't feel like a sunscreen and you will have absolutely no problem with your beard. You will see that when you start to blend them, uh, they leave like those sort of a uh, white streak on the skin, but they will be, uh, but they will completely uh, disappear. So don't be worried and alarm about it. Like I said, if you have a very fair skin, I do not recommend those one when you will be exposed to um, a lot of sun. So basically when you are planning to stay a long time outside, use a better filter combination. If you are interested uh, to know exactly what are the difference between the two, I do have a skincare battle uh, between the two and I'm going to link this video. Another magnificent for day-to-day -day, uh, wear is uh, this one from Adalabo. This is the UV white gel. The filtering system is definitely better than the one from Clarence and Prito that I've just uh, shown you because it also filtered the UVA tab too. So this one is also magnificent. It has virtually no white cast. Probably if you have a very deep skin tone, uh, you will still see a very light uh, white cast, but it's uh, but I cannot see um, on myself. So this is a gel texture that is very hydrating, but not very um, moisturizing. It is very lightweight. Bear in mind that it contains alcohol, not a lot of it. It, it is uh, a tiny bit, it doesn't bother my skin and I'm pretty sensitive to um, alcohol in general. 
But it is a, a, a wonderful uh, sunscreen that is also works uh, beautifully under um, makeup. So the next two are from Skin Aqua. This is the UV Super Moisturized Milk SPF 50 plus and PR rating of 4 pluses. So this one uses a technology that I call hybrid sunscreen in the sense that it has mineral sunscreen in the form of zinc oxide and also organic sunscreen but in those uh, formula it gives a very minimal white cast. If you do have a very a deep skin tone, definitely this one won't be for you. But if you have, uh, I would say, medium skin tone and you don't mind to have a very light um, white kind, this one will work beautifully. And also what I like about it is that it doesn't cling to facial hair. Another one that is excellent for very fair skin is this one. This is the pink version. So in this one, you uh, also have titanium dioxide. So it has, uh, I would say, a stronger white cast. But with the pink pigment, it really gives like this uh, very uh, pearly effect on the skin that is uh, very pretty to wear on this one and also this one blends beautifully with facial hair it doesn't really cling to the air another one that is also uh, wonderful especially for those of you who are living in the united states and if you do want to use a filter um, a sunscreen with the new generation filter that are definitely much better very broad spectrum and this is this one from Crave beauty this is the beach shield so in the united states it is um, sold as a shield but it is the exact same formula as the one that Crave Beauty sold in South Korea with the sense of this is an SPF of 50 plus with a pair rating of 4 plus it the PPD value is of 20 because I did ask Crave uh, Beauty this one has absolutely zero white cast so whatever your skin color is this one will be suitable for you it does contain alcohol a minimum amount of alcohol if I'm not mistaken it contains less than 3% of uh, alcohol, this is also a magnificent sunscreen to wear on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And like I said, it is also fully compatible with uh, facial hair. One of my favorite ones, especially if you are looking for a more matte uh, sunscreen that do have a very high uh, protection is this one from Anessa. This is the perfect UV sunscreen skincare milk. I also have a review on this bad boy. It has an SPF of 50 plus, peer rating of 4 pluses. This one is a Japanese uh, sunscreen that blends beautifully on the skin. It has almost no white cast. It does contain zinc oxide. So again, if you have a really deep skin tone, this one won't be suitable uh, for you. If you have medium skin tone, it is perfectly fine. It will leave like this very, very light white cast, white cast that you barely see on the skin. And what I love about this one is that it is a very, very long lasting on the skin, which doesn't mean that you don't have to reapply. But I'm thinking of those of you who like to wear a lot of makeup during the day and most of the time you are not going to reapply them especially uh, on a day-to-day -day basis when you work and etc this one will be definitely uh, one to try and also it is extremely waterproof now in terms of European sunscreen one of my favorite is this one from the French brand SVR this is the Cicavit plus the cream so it has an SPF of 50 plus because Hello, I am Cyril and I only recommend SPF 50 plus. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. So this one is uh, a cream that has a really shiny finish on the beginning, but if you wait for 10 to 15 minutes, it will set into a normal slightly uh, dewy finish that is so elegant on uh, the skin. Definitely if you have an uh, oily skin type, this one won't be... Um, for you, uh, I hope it is not discontinued because I no longer see it on the SVR uh, website. Also, the combination of filters in this one is so, so interesting and also very, very different from what you see on the market. So if you have sensitive skin and you tend to wear to organic sunscreen, try this one. Another one that I don't see I have ever features on my channel is this one. This is from the French brand Uriage. This is an SPF of 50 plus. This is the cream very high uh, protection that has a light texture. So this one is suitable for normal skin type. Uh, I have the uh, formula with uh, perfume because the French pharmacy was out of it when I bought it. But you can uh, but definitely choose the one without any uh, perfume. This one also is quite good. No white cast, so perfectly safe for facial hair. And the last one that I want to show you, um, I also feature it, uh, is from Bioderma from the CK Bio line, the SPF 50 plus. This is the very high UV protection. This one is also very elegant. It is quite moisturizing. So again, if you have very oily skin, uh, don't use 
don't use it and also be very careful around your eyes uh, area because it will definitely burn your eyes area so choose another one i also have a video about sunscreen that are safe for the eye um, area so comment down below and tell me if you have any questions regarding the sunscreen also don't forget to check my videos because i do have uh, some reviews on all of some of those uh, sunscreen if you like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to ring the bell to not miss any of my new uh, content you can also follow me on instagram i am cyril laurent i have a lot of content here usually it's uh, shorter i thank you so so much for watching me and guess what i will see you next time bye bye